Hey guys, so I just got finished seeing 10 Chlorophyll Lane. This is a spoiler review, basically means that I'm going to spoil everything about the movie. So if you don't want any surprises revealed to you, turn off the video, go watch, and then hopefully come back. Okay guys, so just to get it out the, get it right out the, the thing. This movie is not part two of The Cloverfield, which was very disappointing to me, but it's it's weird because it's like it could have been. It's like they wanted to make it like it was they wanted to make it it, but just like didn't have the rights or something to make it the, the movie. I don't understand, but either way, it is not part two. And another huge spoiler, just to get it right out the way, it is something outside and the whole movie i'm going to say it for the end of the video though because i want you to watch the whole video so the whole movie is basically a psychological thriller it's this woman she gets into a car she's driving she's crazy obviously because some guy wants to marry her crazy behind and she decides i just don't want to get married so she gets into a car and just so happily, she gets into a car crash and she wakes up with some crazy guy from Roseanne. And um, <laughs> and he's got her on the uh, IV. And it's kind of like, just like, she doesn't know what's going on. And she tries to break out. And she finds out that he's crazy, but he's also kind of right. Because she goes to, she tries to break through. She finds a way out. But then she realizes that, uh... That it is something going on. Because somebody comes up to the window of the bunker. And is like, please let me in. And her skin's all melting off and crap. And so it's like, oh, then he was he was right. There is something wrong. So she, for a while, behaves herself. And there's some other guy there. And the guy is nice. Is She kind of got that rapey look to me. But he's, like, he's nice. He's kind of nice. And her and him are young. And Dan from Roseanne. I don't know his name in the movie. Don't even ask me. I do not know his name. But either way, uh, Dan from Roseanne. It's crazy, and he doesn't like when anybody touches her, but it's not romantic. He had a daughter who he was kind of obsessed with, but, like, in a dad way, but, like, an overprotective thing happening. And we don't know what... See, that's the problem. This movie did not answer questions. That's what made me mad about it. So, he sees the new young woman as his new daughter. He even gives her the clothes as daughter supposed to be dead. And so, um, he says that she actually, she's not supposed to be dead, she supposed to, like, ran away, but they think that she's dead, so she finds some clues that his daughter might be dead, that he might have killed her, because she finds, like, uh, she finds a little place in the bunker where the little girl might have been locked up in that says, help me, scratched on the window, and so she decides she's going to escape right then and there, and I feel like, okay, if you think it's uh, aliens out there, some skin eating disease or whatever why would you go out there but she decides she's gonna go out there with this guy and so uh dan finds out but he doesn't know he just finds that they have his gun and so he's like what was you gonna do with my gun or something like that forget now why would why did you try to take it or something like that and um the guy uh, tells him his fake story and dan just shoots him right there and the girl's screaming then he puts him in the vat of acid and it's really gruesome they don't like show it enough and it's just like you know and he puts him in acid, but he puts him in, he's dead, like, he don't torture him, just puts him in there. He's like, oh, okay, well, now I've got my daughter back, like, totally. And he's, like, gives her ice cream, and it's weird. It's not, uh, it's not what you think. It's not what I thought, at least. When I went to go see it, I was like, oh, it's gonna be, a, uh, like, a spooky, finally, explanation on chlorophyll. It is really not. And I hate that they tricked me with the name. I feel like that's such a cheat. I think the ratings on this movie got way too high. I looked them up some of the ratings before I went. I was like, that's too high. This movie was not good. It was kind of disturbing. It made me feel kind of weird in my, like, you know, that disturbing, like, ugh, feeling. And, um, it just, you know, it, it in the end, uh, she escapes. She kills him. And I feel like it's kind of harsh because he did take good care of her. And when she leaves, there's aliens. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's aliens. And, um... She is there, pretty nasty aliens too. And then she running her butt back into that bunker, so and yes, then she kills this alien. And it's like, okay, I'm such a bad a now. And she like I told you before, she dumped acid on Dan, and um, she kills one of the aliens in some really weird way. I personally thought the character, the the female character, was way too prepared. Like she was just a flighty girl who was so she ran away from a problem so much she ran away from her fiance just because she didn't want to deal with it and um she finds out that dan ran her off the road because 
he knew the aliens were coming and he wanted to save her or something weird. They never explain, you know, if he killed his daughter or not. They never get back to us with that. And that's, uh, that's really annoying. And, uh, then, like I say, at the end, as she kills the alien, she's riding down this dark road and there's, like, aliens everywhere. Not Cloverfield aliens either. They're just, like, really generic uh, flying around, big monster mouth aliens. They're huge. So it's like they wanted to be chlorophyll, but they just weren't. Chlorophyll had a creepiness about it that was just plain awesome. It was some creepy stuff going on with chlorophyll. These aliens were not even half as creepy as chlorophyll alien or whatever the freak. Let's see, chlorophyll could have been more like the mist. Like, we, had, we don't even know where that monster came from. That monster was so freaking scary. I mean, it had spines coming out of people. It was crazy, but... This one was like generic alien, I want to eat my, the cars, it's weird. And then she sees like a broadcast and it says like if you have like weapons, abilities and uh, are able to like kill as medical, then come uh, see us and come to our camp. And I felt like, and she was like, she had the determined face like, yeah, I've matched that description. Really? Do you, is that what you think? That's like, they're asking for military, doctors, uh, combat training. Not somebody who stitched a person once, because she stitched up then because she bashed him in his head. So she stitched him up once and beat up a fat old man. That's not combat ready. And it just annoyed the freak out of me when she was like, yeah, let me go rob myself down there. I truly hope they threw her back out. I hope they said, listen. We only got a limited amount of food and space. You are a citizen. Get out. Because they were looking for somebody who could help them. Not they, that, that transmission did not say, come to us. We're looking for survivors. We're looking for people to help. Which would have made, also, that would have made more sense to me. This is like the end of the world. Now I've been going on. Why wasn't they saying I come, come like, to come to this camp? And with aliens everywhere, using a, a radio like that, that would have been very... Uh, actually kind of stupid because they would have you know they could have got caught and it just and then she drove all of them like you have it's like it's like somebody saying i'm looking for a scientist and because you made creepy crawler candies when you was a kid you decide yeah or i, I pour water today yeah i know chemistry oh i know how i say h2o no you're not prepared and she came like yeah i'm prepared and i'm like Oh my gosh. So, I did not like this movie. It was a good psychological, though. Um, Alien-wise, supernaturally-wise, it was really bad. That part, and disappointment-wise, was very, very bad because it was like, really? You know, like, this is not... Wow, okay, really? But, it's a big but. The psychological part of not knowing what this crazy man was going to do at every second and what he was going to do when he found out they were conspiring against him was actually really good. So, I give it a 6 out of 10 because it was not an enjoyable movie, but it was a good thriller. And it had me at the edge of my seat and I was not bored at all. So, yeah, 6 out of 10. I would still recommend going, well, no, not really. I would recommend seeing it on DVD from, like, Red Redbox, but I would not recommend seeing this in the movie theater. And that feels really mean because, like, I've seen so many movies. I feel like, oh, wow, I can't give people a good recommendation, but I just wouldn't because it's not really worth it. Like, when I go to movie theaters, like, as bad as Batman vs. Superman was, it had a lot of special effects, so I got to really enjoy it on the big screen. But 10 Chlorophyll Lane, unless you want to see, like, live action, big... Roseanne it was just not it was just nothing you want to see on the like the big screen so I kind of felt like when I was I left it there I was like uh, like you know, like okay I got this alien part was cool but I could have really waited so <laughs> it's up to you you know I'm making the reviews that you still can go see it but I would still not recommend it really so it's basically it tell me in the comments what you thought about it if you have seen it before, if you have any questions, I don't mind answering. I mean, it's a spoiler review, so you know I'm going to tell spoilers. And like I said, most of my videos, go check out my book and the links back at my channel. It's a, also a sci-fi fantasy thriller, so if you like sci-fi stuff, my book is that type. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. <laughs>